Hi everyone, this is the first video I will speak in English. You will probably notice an accent and I will probably not speak a proper English, but I still hope we can have a good time. I will be using an old Xbox 360 Kinect sensor and a tripod. It's very important to get a PC adapter to get it work. I printed a base to connect the sensor with the tripod. Also we will need a nut and some screws to fix it in place. The adapter is very easy to install, but you need to plug it on a USB 3.0 port to make it work. Time to install the required software. I use Scanic, a well-known software for this type of things. You can get it for free and there's no need to get the paid version. The second one is the SDK 1.8 and this will help us to communicate with the sensor. Now let's start with the scan. I use my computer chair to rotate in place. Then I try in multiple positions to get something cool from it. But be careful, you must rotate slowly to get good readings. After the scanning you will get a 3D model of you or whatever you are scanning. Uh, you will see that there is some holes and parts that we don't need. So that's why we need to go to post processing. The first tool that I used was fill holes. Don't worry if it's not perfect, we will use mesh mixer layer to improve our 3D model. Then move and crop the model to have a good base. After that remove the parts that we don't need and finally we will need to simplify our model. I use around 5000 faces to be able to work with it. Now we can export our STL model. When exporting I use around 10,000 faces only to be sure. Ok now some mesh mixer processing. First, I use plain cut to get a flat base on the model. Now, we will try to fix those holes that Scanic was not able to fit correctly. For this, you must select the triangles around the hole and then Supreme. Then, you must run an analysis to fill them up again. Do this process for all the areas you are not happy with. Use the measure tool to modify the scale of your model. Now we have a decent 3D model. Be sure to export it again on STL file to open it in Fusion 360. Fusion 360 time. First, insert your mesh, then right click on the model name and select Do not capture design history. Then go to Modify on the surface menu and select Mesh to be real. This will help us to convert our mesh into a solid. Ok, so far so good. Now that we have a solid model, we can easily work with it and modify. I designed a support for a common light to use my model as a lamp, but you can be very creative with this. Maybe you can create some custom toys for your kids, some decorations, gifts for your family or whatever you have in mind. This video was a very technical one, but I wanted to share what we can do with our 3D scan models. Also, I'm trying to find my own style. Please let me know what do you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe.